So how's it going ghouls and ghoulettes and welcome to some oblivion horror would you look at this it's all foggy and everything everyone always makes a joke that when it's foggy you have to compare it to Silent Hill do you like Silent Hill? He likes the HD collection, we don't talk to him. He's outcasted from society. We're gonna be checking out Gates to Asgard. It's a horror mod for Oblivion. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I believe to start it, all we have to do is just kind of wait around and it just kind of appears. Are you okay, beggar? There's scary things happening already. Oblivion's already being very scary with this cheery kind of music in the background. Uh, We're just supposed to wait around a while and then the mod just kind of kicks into gear. So um, I think while I'm waiting, I might get some potions. I don't think you're at a potion shop though, aren't you? I think I'm looking Welcome. for the, the, the gilded craft. <laughs> he just said bah. I just left his shop and he went bah. He's a sheep. Here it is, the gilded giraffe. This is what I'm looking for. Might as well get some healing potions while I'm at it. Hello. I have everything for the budding alchemist under one roof. Do you have battle toads? Potions of healing, I'll take them all. I'm the grand champion in this save, so we have plenty of money. 14 weak potions of healing, I'll probably need them. Good day. Bye now. So before we get started, I've been playing Oblivion casually. This is the character I'm using. He's a level 12 Argonian. I like him a lot. I like Argonians, they're cool. He's gonna be the character we're going in with. Basic gear, you know, a glass sword, dwarven armor. We should be okay. We should be all right. I need to repair my stuff. People will like you more if you have a high personality. People will like you if you're not a prick. I'm pretty handy. Aren't you just... Goodbye. Bye now. Okay, so I might actually have to wait around a few hours. I'm gonna try waiting 24 hours to see if the mod kicks in. And then we should get started. Oblivion Horror. I'm recording this at night to get into the spooky vibe. I'm actually lying. I'm recording this at night because I was too lazy to record it during the day. I might as well be honest. I have the curtains closed. It's night time. I want to get spooked. Come on now. What I might do also is a bit of fast traveling, just so we're close to the area where it appears in. Hi, Bruma. I'm just gonna walk around Bruma until it appears. Come on, Mad, you can do it. I believe in you. It's so hard to imagine horror in Oblivion. These NPCs are so weird, they're all just staring at nothing. To me, it's kind of hard to imagine horror in Oblivion being very effective, because <laughs> look at all the character faces, they're all so dopey. How do you make this scary? I take it you want something. <laughs> he just coughed on my face, great. Come on, Mod, you can do it. I believe in you. I think it works. It worked the last time I tried this. Oh. Good day. Jesus, that scared me. <laughs> this isn't even paired to the horror mod. She requests your company at your earliest convenience. Well, I'm a bit busy. He just gave me money. I'm not a beggar. I'm just gonna walk around the wilderness. I didn't expect it to take this long for the mod to spawn in. Hold on. There we go. All right, there's the mod. Ashen's Roses. It's the Ashen one from Dark Souls 3. There's a lot of text here. I'm not in school. I don't need to read. I've received a message from an old friend. We haven't seen each other for some time and we didn't part on good terms. This message was delayed for some reason. Good okay. afternoon. There we go. Good afternoon. He's staring off into nothing too. This game is spooky. It's probably the mod. Or is it? So we have to go to Ash and Rose's house. You have to talk to an old friend. I hope this short note reaches you in time. Please, before you throw away, let me say I'm sorry. Sorry for dragging you into that mess. I don't blame you for being angry. Okay, so we just have to go to this house, see what's going on, see if anything spooky is happening. It's just strange how many NPCs there are just staring off into nothing. It's the first time I've like noticed this properly. Probably because I'm in proper spook mode. I like how we're just walking to the side skiing. This is great. And it's going to be so hard to take this horror mod seriously if there's going to be like cheery Oblivion music in the background. <laughs> I always saw Oblivion as like a happy kind of go lucky game where everything's just kind of positive. Even though there's horrible things happening. It just looks beautiful and all the NPCs are usually kind of upbeat. It's the exact opposite of Morrowind. Is this it? Is this the manor? Is this the house? Just outside Bruma. Ash and Rose's house. Let's see what's going on in Side. I don't know how long this mod is. I believe it has two chapters. Maybe we can look into boat. I found the cabin, but there's no one here. The fire is still burning and there's fresh food on the table. Now I'm worried. I should search the house for something that will tell me where Ashen Rose has gone. That's great. We have to look for Ashen Rose. Potions of healing. I'll take those. I'll need them a lot. I'll take all that. Why not? I'll take all your food. I want to munch on a carrot while I'm in the horror mod. Being scared kind of takes it out of you. If this mod can spook me once, you'll get my Mickey D seal of approval. And that is worth jack shit. Chainmail, claymore of burning. That seems useful. I'll take a claymore burning. It was just on the table. All right. Oh, <laughs> is that what we have to find? This obvious crypt that's on the floor? Grace, all right. Well, there's just a bed down here. This would be really damp. I think that'd be at least if you're worried if you're sleeping underground. Loads of books, loads of gemstones and stuff. I feel like Spyro, give me all of them. Give me all of them. Empty his bottle. Like from the history. 
Ghouls and Ghosts, really? That's what it's called, Ghouls and Ghosts. This book's really long, 14 pages. Jeez, it's a lot of exposition. I like how the book is so long, but then the quest <laughs> update notification is just, I found the map and a key hidden in a book. Now I know where to go. Great, where we're gonna go now. All right, so we have to go past Frostcrag Spire into this area. All right, we're gonna get the spooky and started. It's gonna be very spooky. So we just have to travel all the way out there. I haven't really been traveling much in this region, so, um. I can travel to Frostcrag at least, and then just go from there. Oh, I love Oblivion, it's so serene. I honestly found Frostcrag Spire to be really out of place in Oblivion. For some reason, it just doesn't really fit the team. It's just this random big tower, and you just get a note saying it's yours, I guess, and you can have it. And there's a bunch of teleporting and stuff in it. I just never really found it fit. Oblivion's general aesthetic. It's probably just me whinging and moaning, but I never really use that house. I always just buy a house in Skinrad or something and just chill there. Or the Anvil one. That's that's a very cheap one. Because I think the skin rat house is like it's 30,000 gold. It's a lot of gold. From what I found, there wasn't much in the way of horror mods for Oblivion. I found like one or two. There might be some extra kind of hidden ones that I didn't find. But horror mods aren't really a thing for like any Bethesda game really. Like Fallout or Elder Scrolls. I mean, they're there and they're pretty well done for what they are. But there isn't like a huge amount of them. Which is sad. I want more horror mods. I'm hoping for next year we can boister up the Elder Scrolls horror mod community. I always thought Oblivion is like a beautiful game but the mountains here are loading in a bit weird. Did they always look like that? I have everything on high settings. Oh. This game's usually very beautiful. Bethesda if you're watching I know you're not. In every Elder Scrolls game you have to jump down the mountains and break your legs and get loads of acrobatics for it. I found the ruin. Yes, I did. I found it. There it is. All right, let's get the horror started. It's only been 40 minutes since I've started the video. Asgard. Asgard? Asgard? I'm gonna say Asgard because it sounds cool. Oh, here's the horror music. So we're in like, um, Alien Ruin. I found the way into the ruin, but the key has turned to dust and the door has closed behind me. I can't move it, but there must be another way out. First though, I need to look for Ash and Rose. I'd be more concerned about being trapped in here forever. Screw the girl, I'd be like, how do we get out? Oh, I need a key. We're, we're properly stuck here. Okay, plenty of torches on the floor. I'll take them. Why not? Oh, do I want to actually equip a torch? Uh, Oblivion can be kind of dark. I'll equip the torch. All right, this is spooky. It is proper dark. It is proper dark. We'll see what it's like. Oh, hello, skeleton. How you doing? Oh, now it's pitch dark. Now it's too dark. Great. I have to get you into the light. Is it just a ton of skeletons here? It's really dark. I could, like, have a torch with my weapon out, but I wouldn't have my shield, and these skeletons could be an issue because Oblivion has horrible level scaling. <laughs> yeah, see, there's skeleton guardians. Oh, they have so much health. Oh. I forgot I'm playing Oblivion with its level scaling. I think I have a bow. I just have to whittle him down with my bow, great. I have a bow of scorching. I'll use this. Should be good against the skellies. I also have that claymore of scorching. That'll be useful too. It looks just as dark for me, don't worry. We're both experiencing this pain together. I need to get you into lighting. See, I can't even see him. I mean, I guess it's kind of spooky. You can't even see on waste and charge because I can't even hit him. He just went flying, but I couldn't even see. There's somewhere in here. I don't want to waste a charge on my bow. Come on out. Can I bring him like further in? Oh, there's light here. Okay, this is better. Martyr and Pestle if you want this. Minor life detection tome. That's great. There's some proper loot here. Very good. Very nice. All right, come on down, boys. Come on. There you are, poor headless fella. That's the thing with Oblivion, man. Once you get to a high level, all the enemies have- What was that? Okay. That's just a scary lich. Okay. <laughs> they're just normal Oblivion enemies. Don't get scared by them. Oh, there's so many enemies. Oh, great. Oh, he was a summon. Okay. I'll just attack you. Oh, you have a lot of health. Oh, great. Well, it's a good thing I bought a lot of health potions. Oh, this is the scariest part so far as all the enemies. Oh, well, your spells do a lot of damage. Great. I might get up my bow again. Don't feckin' hit me again. Oh, I just want to get to the spookiness. There's like tons of like high health enemies. Oh, they're just tons of hit points. It's like I'm playing Borderlands. Oh. Great. No, this is annoying. Hopefully the further we get in, the less spongy enemies there are. I don't want a whole dungeon of this. Oh, he's resisting my fucking arrows too and everything. Oh, this guy is tough. Do I have anything I can use to properly defend myself? I have a lesser staff of storms. We can try that. I've made runes razor. I forgot I have that. Oh, he's reflecting all my damage even. Oh, this is fucking annoying. Just go down. He's so much health and his spells do so much damage. Oh, you know what? For the sake of the video, I just can't be asked. I can't be. There you go. 
There we go. I solved the problems. It's just for the sake of the video. His spells do so much damage and he has so much health. Call me shit if you want, but I'm not dealing with that. Fuck that. Okay, we need a key. There's my torch. That's the better option because I'm not going to be sitting there fighting enemies all day. I might actually go without my shield so I can carry my torch with me throughout the whole thing. Alright. How would you look? It's Lucy in the chance himself. How you doing, boy? You still looking like that? Oh, he's actually moving. Oh, he's making sounds. Oh, that's spooky. Jesus. Alright. I was not expecting a cutscene. That's unnerving. That caught me off guard. I was not expecting this in Oblivion. Trees. Fire. It's black and white. It's shot like it's filmed on like an old like film recorder thing, but they, they don't have those in Elder Scrolls times. My hands are shaking. I don't know if I can control it much longer, but I have to write this down before I forget. I'm in a dark place, but I don't know how I got here. I think I was looking for something. I might have even found it. Yes. Yes, sir, a great band. I think I did, but I don't want it anymore. Take it back. Take it. Please. I want to scream and scream for ice cream, but I'm, I'm afraid to. So I hold it in my own throat and nearly choke. The other one is back. I don't like the way he looks at me. Like he's draining my life away. I hear him talking sometimes about the gates of as as yes asgard what is that a place will i be going there i think not there are others here now i hear them creeping and crying in the shadows stop it stop it can you please tell me where i am i have no idea listen woman i have no idea you're outside bruma <laughs> it's not a good place to be i found the Noah ash and rose's signature at the bottom i had a vision the moment i touched it it was like a film because it had like the, the film effects i feel as if i know her a little now i'm not sure what rose is talking about but judging from what i have read she seems to be very confused poor girl i'm very confused <laughs> you're telling me that cutscene caught me off guard i wasn't expecting that in oblivion hello are you zombies they're just normal zombies <laughs> Yeah, this is much better. Look at this. Mowing through them. Mowing them down. What else do you need? What else do you need? They have plenty of Marty flesh. If you want Marty flesh. I'm saying Morty like Marty. Isn't that the reference? <gasps> I'm up to your tricks, Justin Ryland. I love you know. It is kind of spooky going down into these like darker niches. Oh, it just keeps going. This is spooky. Is something gonna jump scare me? This is like the Mario 64 staircase. <laughs> Except you're going down. You're going down, 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 dance. Nothing else for me to do but dance. Sorry, I, I sing Jamiroquai whenever I get kind of scared. Hello, Cursed Priest. I want your, like, sacco. That'd be cool. Oh, there's Lucy in the chance again. He's hanging around. He's just hanging out, I shouldn't say it. Door to silent holes. Silent so not silent holes. <laughs> silent souls. I was going to make a joke about Dark Souls and Silent Hill, but then I just said silent holes. Here we are in silent holes. Can I jump up here? Oh, there's an invisible wall. I can hear screams of agony. We must be in Dublin. I'll take your chest though. What's in here? Oh, flawed sapphires. You have found a repair hammer. Equip it. What? I've used repair hammers before. Equip it to repair your weapons and armor before using your armor skill. He might have just imported the repair hammer from the tutorial. So it gives you that message. I think. I'm not like an experienced modder. So I I'm just assuming that's what happened. I'll take all this. Plenty of soul gems to charge all my items. I should have bought soul gems while I was in the Imperial City, but I do good damage now because my game's on very easy for the sake of uh, getting through this quick. Nothing but zombies. Oh, there's so many of them. I never found the zombies in Oblivion to be that scary, but there's like... What are those like big ghosts that spawn on higher levels? Like the raids? Those are always terrifying to me and the sounds that they make, you could just put them anywhere in this mod and that would terrify me because those enemies do legitimately freak me out a bit. They, well, they don't like freak me out, but they're a bit unnerving, you know, that kind of way. Another claymore burning. Do I need another one? Eh. So is there anything here? It's just a burning tree. It's weird that it's just a burning tree in the alien ruin, but look. There's a woman, she's scary, she looks like Michael Jackson. This is interesting, more zombies. It's a good thing I put down the difficulty because I would have been here all day trying to kill zombies. And I have like good gear, you know? That's the one thing that holds me back from playing Oblivion like super often is that the level scaling, I just can't deal with it anymore. It's a great game, but that just, oh man. Another repair hammer. You see this? This is a reference to the town of Anvil. <laughs> it's very funny. How you doing? Oh, <laughs> Lucy in the chance. He got stuck in jail for uh, murder because he's Dark Brotherhood. Oh, what's here? Key to nowhere, cool. Is something gonna attack me here? Oh, hello. <laughs> you can't even get through the door. These guys are kind of scary. I think they're their own race. Because they're not making, like, any, like, Derek Elf noises or anything. Oh, look at that. That's poopy. Oh, there's a nice bed here. At least it's elevated away from all the rats and the scum. I'll have a bit of a nap. It's been a long old day of dungeon delving. 
All right. Press on the gate, apparently. Okay, so pressing on it doesn't do anything. I got the gate to nowhere. Or the key to nowhere. I got the key to nowhere. Key to nowhere. Wait, but if it goes nowhere, then does that mean I can't use the key anywhere? Does it open any of these gates, I wonder? Is this going to be like the Morrowind Horror mod where I just get completely lost? Oh, isn't there a locked door back at the entrance, I believe? I think there was. Oh, do I have to go all the way back to the entrance? I might have to. There's a bit of backtracking. All right, so I'm going to check this door back here. This hallway is spooky. I like it though. I apologize in advance. This video is going to be so dark and there's not much I can do. Even if I bump it up, it's still going to be a bit difficult to watch. So look, I'll, I'll do the best I can. Okay, please tell me it's this door, right? I came all the way up here. Oh, there it is. It's called the door to nowhere. Oh, I was on the right track. This reminds me of like the the dream quest for Henin's here. It's like the dream world. I like that. I was streaming Oblivion recently and Lucy and the Chance showed up in the dream world and I didn't know that could happen. He showed up doing that you sleep rather soundly for a murder. I didn't know that was possible. We're going to the monk rooms. All right, another corridor. It has a spooky Oblivion music. That's a nice desk. Oh, he's just walking out the poor lad. <laughs> This is a nice room. Any more letters? More ashen notes? No, I spilled the ink. There's not much left in the well and I have more to tell you. I have to warn you. Yes, a warning. But I'm losing the memories. They drift like the mist around me. I feel so dizzy my head is spinning. God's help me. He's coming back. I see his silhouette pass in small patches of light. Watching me, I don't really mind. After all, the magic crackles like flame. But it's as cool and soft as silk on my skin. It feels so good except when- No, please don't do that. His hands are on my temples. I don't like this part. The visions hurt and I think they are real. Someone is coming. But they will be trapped by the souls of their past misdeeds. I was warned. But I still came here. I wish I had listened. But it's too late for me. Please, I don't want it anymore. Take it. I found the second note written by Rose. She left to go on the Titanic, I think. It's clear to me now that she was in danger when she wrote it. I mean, overall, there's some spooky atmosphere, potions of light. Oh, don't sit on the pew. I never knew it was called a pew. Actually, if you sit on things in Oblivion, they like launch. They like launch forward. Can I sit in the potions? Oh no, you can't sit in the potions. I want to do that. Can I place the potions? If you sit down on something in Oblivion, they freak out. Like they just fire. Don't make me look stupid, potions. <laughs> it's not often my viewers laugh at me. It, it is actually. Okay, they're not doing it fine. I'll just take it. Whatever. Hello. Oh, that's a big hit. That's nice. Oh, there's a dead woman with a mask. That's cool. Two lockpicks. Staff of ice storms. I'll take it. All right. There's people buried here, apparently. That's nice. All right. So that's the throne chamber. The only spook I got so far was from the FMV plane. That caught me off guard. It is spooky, though. I will admit the atmosphere is kind of... Oh, I like that. That's foreboding. Jeez, my torch went out. <laughs> That scared me. It's just Oblivion's natural mechanics are what's scaring me now. So the prey room. I never played prey. It was good. This is cool. Oh, I like the architecture here. But oh, I like him domineering over me. Yes. On the chandelier on the chest. That's really cool. Design wise. Oh no, no. This is a scary part. A very hard lock. And I don't have the skeleton key. Uh oh. Bear with me. The thing about Oblivion's lock picking is that you just have to... Doing it with a mouse is so annoying. Just kind of have to find the slow motion of it. Okay, come on now. Hey! I wasn't expecting to do it that time, I'll be honest. Oh, spiders! Here's your agoraphobia warning if you're scared of spiders. There you go. Do you have any spider silk? They actually are kind of scary. They have a really cool model. That's really well done. I like how you can just sleep on the stone bed. More spiders. I can see him clipping into reality. Oh, that's a big one. We have giant spiders and everything to deal with. Seeing spiders like that in Oblivion does creep me out a bit. And I'm not gonna let you out, bud. You're there forever. That's another door to nowhere. Wasn't I just in nowhere? Oh, hello. <laughs> He's just down by the barrels. And there's nothing here. It's a very boring room. Rusty door that needs a key. Okay, so there's plenty of ways to go that need keys. That's great. There's gonna be a bit of backtracking. Oh, we're in Oblivion. I'm in Oblivion while I'm playing Oblivion. Doesn't this nightmare end? I thought this place was underground, but that is not the sky. I know. I have no choice but to continue. You should know the sky. You're the hero of Kvetch. There's more spiders outside. <laughs> He's just going to walk off. All right. Bring your friend down with you. Come on, dude. Go on. Go down, you clean. Boy. <laughs> He's just hanging on for dear life. No. What happens if I go down? Oh, I can see him falling with me. Ah. Yeah, I assume that would happen. The sacrificial chamber. Hello, troll. Hello, troll. Oh, this is neat. I like this. Oh, that's a big spot. Jesus, that fecker's huge. Jeez, I'm going to need a fucking big newspaper for him. Hey. Oh, that is, that is kind of scary. I imagine most people with agoraphobia have already left because that spider is very scary. Oh, there's legion armor. There's legion armor there if you want it. I like my dwarven armor. I'll, I'll stick with that. There's lots of good loot up here. Oh, hello. They were just standing there. 
Are you gonna attack me or what? Okay. That's a cool design. Oh, can I look at you? Dare small Aragonian fellow sort of. That's a cool hairstyle. A cursed monk, isn't that right? All right, let's fight the spider who sat down beside her. Come here, big fella. You, you miss a good shot. See when he goes? This man is really well done so far. I like the effort. I like the effort and the ambition. It's very well done. I'm really enjoying these Elder Scrolls horror mods. It's a fun little rabbit hole to be going down. Is this the exit? The treatment room. Great. There are more spiders. Bleh. 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 Go down. Not much here. Alright. One more note. I think I'm floating. She's lost her mind. I found a third note. It appears Rose hoped someone would follow her and she has left these notes as a warning. Did you only just figure that out now after the third one? She seems to be even more confused now. Well, great. I, I don't think it's going to be good for Rose. Iron door, throne chamber. So do I go back now? I believe I can go back with those keys. Oh, this is the way I came from. Oh, I see. Hello, spider. You're still there. Ha, huh? not going to let you out. So I believe the throne room is back this way, right? At least this place isn't too confusing to navigate. It's all right so far. Hello. Jesus looking over you. I think the throne room is back here. Oh, is it this? Yeah, that's the one. It's right in front of me. Oh, this is foreboding. Look at this high spider. Oh, is this figure standing here? That looks spooky. This is actually making me a bit unsettled now. Oh, you're just going to go after me? Oh, that's scary. Look at you. What are you? Cursed knight. Is that right? His big long hair and a cape. It's like a proper Oblivion mod from like 2007. Just anime hair for days. I mean, to be fair, the modding scene hasn't changed that much in uh, 2021. They draw teeth. Stochan's key. All right, I'll take it. Very dirty face. You want to clean that up. Well, he's dead now. It's not his problem anymore. There's some good loot here, to be fair. Lots of like soldiers and stuff to be getting. There's a load of thrones. Is it like all kings and queens are one? All human blood. I, I want to see what human blood does. Drain fatigue. Resist poison actually not that bad. I mean, I am an Argonian, so it's not really like human blood. Isn't it more like humanoid blood? So I could drink it. Feck it. It is not cannibalism. At least I don't think so anyway. <laughs> it destroys my fatigue. I probably shouldn't have done that. Warhammer of Jolts. <laughs> I found the Detect Life helmet, but I think that would take away most of the horror if I can see everything in front of me. What a bright effect. I never liked the Detect Life effect in Oblivion. It wasn't really my thing. It's your chance key. All right. Door to nowhere again. Oh, hello. Are we going to the Shivering Isles? That door appears in like one of the Deja quests. I think you have to like go to Oblivion and then there's like a big gauntlet you have to go through. Hello. Are you the Holy Crusader? Oh, you have a lot of health. This is a big domineering fella. They don't say anything and I think that just adds to the heart. Down he goes. The way is now open. The demonic being is dead and this magical seal is broken. Unlocking the gate. That's cool. Raisin's heart. I don't want your heart. He just had a fine iron claymore. He has really cool armor. I want it. Well, he's dead now, so like it doesn't matter and his cape is clipping towards the sky. That's great. Asgard. On the land. Oh, we're actually going. I thought we were here, but look. I guess we're in the realm now. Oh, here we are. We're in upbeat oblivion land now. I wasn't expecting this. I found a rough path to a still lake. Although this place looks like Tamriel, somehow I know it is not. It feels different. I can see there is nowhere to go from here. I need to find another way. So if I look on the map, it's telling me I'm still in the ruin. Yeah, this is neat. There's a big lake in the center. Is this like a big hub? This mod is really ambitious. It's cool. All of the horror mods I've played have been really ambitious. They've been big, long projects. I mean, fair play to the mod creators. What are you? Like a platypus thing? An abyss dragon? That's cool. It looks like something from dinosaurs. Dragon meat restores health and damages speed. He's walking on the air. He's walking on sunshine. Fair play to you. Keep it up, little bud. You have great ambitions in life. I wish I had your enthusiasm. Oh, he's just spawning here. Uh, All right, I'll attack you. Uh, this is exactly like Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, there's not much direction to go from the pass. I don't think so. I'm going to check the water to see if there's anywhere I go down. Oh, there's like an opening here. Is there? It's a good thing I'm an Aragonian. I'm just going to see if there's any openings or paths to go down here. I don't think there is. I thought it would have been. Yeah, this is just a big cavern place. I think I have to find somewhere else. Oh, there's something here. There's like a weird boundary I have to go through. Oblivion's water is strange. Is there like a doorway or something I can go into? This must be really hard to see on capture. See, I thought there was something, but no. There's another fallen statue here. Oh, that's just a slaughterfish. Is that Mirun's Dagon? I think it is. Oh, this is new. I haven't found this. Okay, I came across something. Oh, here's an entrance. Okay. That's interesting. There's an elven fella. 
he broke his heart, he'd want to fix that. He's supposed to be a hero, my ass. Okay, so there was something underwater. It's a good thing I am an Argonian. You would have been screwed if you weren't Argonian. Alright, equip your torch now again. Hello. He's rising his sword into the air. A load of good that did him. This is, this is interesting. Oh, loads of potions of healing. Probably gonna need him. 800 years back in time. We're going back to the past. To play the shitty games, that's like ass. Hello. Am I gonna learn about your history? I still don't know who you were. Are these all custom statues? Like, I know some of them were like used from Oblivion, but these are really impressive. And she's just screaming into the void. I would too if I had to stay in this room for eternity. Here's his blade. I found Stockens? Stockens sword? I think Stockens sounds cool. Fire damage. Oh, that's cool. It looks like a scimitar kind of. Curved swords. They had curved swords. There you go. He's getting this right. Oh, spider. Jesus. All spiders came from nowhere. Well, the place is called Nowhere. So. How are spiders blocking? There you go. Go down. More washer. Oh, I found Tally. You found a small settlement, but looks deserted and desolate. Oh, so there's nothing here. Very spooky. Very spooky. It looks like Bruma. Well, we're by Bruma, so it makes sense. We're probably not enough to be in Skyrim, to be honest. This is the hardest enemy so far. I don't know if I can take him. I don't know if I can take him. Imagine just the mud crap kill me. Be very surprising. All the cherry oblivion music just comes back on. Wooden door to house. This is where Dr. House lives. <laughs> house is house. This is house is house. I'm gonna quit my torch again just for the sake of it. Anything interesting here? Yeah, they're modeled after the broom houses. The Dwarven bow. Not much else. A bed. Looks like my bedroom just feck all in it. I have a gateway, a computer, a blue yeti. What more do you need in the bedroom? Blue suede shoes and stuff like that. That's a reference. Loads of potions of healing. Curse crypt key. Alright, we have a key now. Can I just go straight to the crypt? Is it up here? Might as well. This feels like it should be it. Up around here anyway. More zombies, great. In your head. Well, they have no heads. I can't sing the cranberry song because they have no heads at all. Ebony dagger? Fuck okay, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, it's over encumbered. I already have the blade of woe. The ebony dagger does nine damage. It's pretty good for a dagger. I just noticed how the sword has like an upside down head on this. I only just noticed that now. It looks like the moon from Majora's Mask. Curse Crypt Key. Okay, we found the key pretty quickly. Feels like we're making good enough progress during this mod. I might try and get this finished in the one video if we can, because there is like a chapter two. Oh, great. When's my last save? Oh, it's just outside. Okay. I was worried there for a second. Oh, okay. They do a lot of damage. Is there anything worth it here? It's just Mithril. I mean, it's good gear. I always liked how the Mithril armor set looked. I don't think it's even in Skyrim or anything like that. I really like that armor set. They should bring it back. Bethesda. Are you listening? I know you're not. Todd Howard. Are you listening? All right, I'm just going to go through all the... <laughs> they all just fly up into the air. That's great. It's like I'm the giant from Skyrim now. Loads of swimming. Oh, there's two ways here. It's so dark. Clatron's chamber. Akat's chamber. Alright, so there's multiple ways to go. Hello. I thought you were Daedrot. You're just another cave fella. He couldn't even get out his weapon. Mowing through most of the enemies. This mod would be five times as long if I was just doing this on normal difficulty. This is spooky. He's got no like major jump scare yet. Except for that FMV that played earlier. This is just a sewers on like the side of the wall. How does that work? Like that apparently. This is scary. This is flipping scary. I don't feel unnerved. It's just... I mean, I haven't been too spooked overall, but it is oblivion. I don't know what I was expecting much of. I like the atmosphere though. I love zombies. It's just all zombies. I must have so many potions of healing just stocked up. Alright, anything in here? Fireball staff. Ring a sneak. Why not? There's some great loot here, to be fair. I just killed a poor slaughterfish in one hit. And there's mud crabs. Great. Oh, there's a key. I need a key. Give me your lockpicks. Does this just go back outside? This is new. Bit scary. And there's noises. Sounds like the beginning to feckin' One Vision by Queen. Did you ever listen to the intro of that? Like all the spooky voices. Morrowind Tombs kinda sound like that. Morrowind Tombs. <laughs> oh, this is- oh. I was gonna say Morrowind Tombs sound like the intro to One Vision by Queen. And uh, the, now we're getting proper spooky, but now we're getting proper scary. This is a bit unnerving. 
This is well done. I like the retexturing of the walls. There's Lucy and Lachance and his brothers just hanging out. <laughs> that looks like a face. Is that supposed to be a face? It just looks like a fella going, Ugh. I'd make that sound too if I was trapped in oblivion. Hello, General Clathon. Can I have your armor set? It looks really cool now. I can take his heart, I guess, if I want it. It's just all zombies. This door is really brightly colored. Making me uncomfortable, and she's making me uncomfortable too. I don't like her. Oh, did I just loop around? Wait, did I get a key? Oh, I got his key. I should have been paying attention. All right, making decent progress now. Looping back around. Hello, ghost. I killed you. You thought you could hide from me. These fellas. The wraiths. Yeah, these guys are legitimately spooky. They always creep me out. I'll take an elven longsword. Is the elven better than my glass? I think glass is better, right? Oh, they're about the same. All right. Actually, the glass is better, it's just damaged, so I might as well repair my stuff. Yeah, the glass is 11. I don't need your elven. You can keep it in the afterlife or something. If you, like, kill a ghost, even though you're killing something that's technically kind of dead already, are you just, like, saving their soul at that point, or...? You know, it's interesting. Interesting lore. That's where the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live. They're eating burgers or whatever it is, that food they like to eat a lot. They like sushi. <laughs> the Ninja Turtles, they love sushi. Was this normal weapons? That's very good. I'll take it. I'm <laughs> so overloaded with gear, there's too much loot. You'd have to stop with the loot, there's too much. I'll drop my shield, I don't need it. I don't need protection. Who needs defense when you have the best defense in the Imperial City? This video is sponsored by the best defense. Alright, we're back in Oblivion. Oh, well, this is dope, I like this. Oh, it's like Castlevania, we're gonna kill Dracula. Tis me, I'm Alucard. Silver bowl. Oh, his head. It's like the Night Mother's head. Just how many potions of healing do I have at this point? 17, I thought I had a lot more. Alright, so I have the person's head. Do I need to bring the head back? It feels like there should be an entrance to this place, right? Do I just get the head and bounce out? I guess we go back. I guess we, we have to put the head somewhere. Is the head the key? Do I put the head into like the, the lock or something? Does it fit? Okay. I think we're making progress. What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Okay. I like how the noises stop when you go into the inventory. Oh, they completely stopped altogether. Is this new? Have I been here? I don't think I've been here. Okay, so getting that head was important. The only time I'll ever get hurt. Oh, it's very funny. The key to paradise is written by Manker Cameron. Queen Assass, beautiful beyond the scope of man's vision. She wanted to pass through the door to paradise, but the guardian would not allow it. Only the offering of her head would open the way, but the castle with the sealed doors already had the gift and the crimson droplets fell. While the guardian held closed the doors for all eternity. Great, can I go back in? Oh, they locked me in. Oh, <laughs> I can just go around. He's so stupid, why didn't he just walk around? Idiot. Okay, so I need the key there. Wait, coffin? Oh, do I put the head in the coffin? Did that do it? Only offering the head, yeah. That's it, right? Hey, I did it. Okay, <laughs> the book told me exactly what to do and I wasn't really paying attention. Is that the sigil stone? Are we the hero of Kvatch? All right, let's jump in. Ruin portal to the abyss. Are we getting near the end? Making decent progress. Loads of healing potions that I probably won't use because I'm on piss easy difficulty. I've managed to enter the abyss. I need to find the key as soon as possible. Is that the same castle as before? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just this fella. What are they called again? Starts with an X, I think. Oh, it's just abyss god. The resistant fire. He's resisting everything. I can't hurt him. Okay, do I run? Am I supposed to run? Just run, just run, just run. Oh, that's a huge spider. I imagine I can't hurt anything here. Just run into the sigil tower thing. One further into the abyss. Okay, I don't know where I am. I like how you can see the portals from far away, so you have some direction. Are they gonna follow me? I don't think they can. Alright, jump over. Oh, good acrobatics. Hello, imp. Can I hurt the imp at least? If I can't hurt the imp, I'll be very upset. <laughs> Killed them in one hit. Just a big imp. I mean, the name imp implies that they're tiny. They shouldn't be very big. Alright, here's like an altar thing. Blade key. Okay, another cutscene. Thanks for that. Okay, stairway to heaven. That's nice. Nice orcish armor. That's cool armor. I want that. Implementing like an FMV into Oblivion is... Uh, oh, we're in the Imperial City. It's very ambitious. I like that. That's a very cool detail. I found the blade key and it is truly shaped like a dagger. As I touched it, I had a terrible vision and I saw a demon was holding the key. I blacked it and when I woke, I was in a completely different place. Here we go towards the end. It feels like we're hitting some sort of climax. So cool though. An ink stained note. Why did my speechcraft go up? I didn't talk to anyone. King's Axeman. Oh, I'm getting loads of skills. It appears this book was written by someone who says he was the executioner of a king named 
Dokken, who is described as a tyrant and sadist. His people overthrew him and seized his throne as he fled fearing for his life. He later sacrificed himself to a demon god of the abyss called Azra Kamora. His four generals, Raisin, Clatheron, Swarton, and Miriam Forever Loyal, followed their king into the demon's lair. I wonder if this is the same Miriam from Rose's Note. I killed Raisin and Clathorn, right? So Swarton and Miriam? I don't think I killed them. At least I don't think so. Are they like the final boss gauntlet things that I need to defeat? Oh, well, hello. You're the axe man. I can tell because he has a big axe. Oh, he just disappears. Okay. He has the cursed axe on him. We look at this. That's really neat. That's cool. I have no like axe skill or anything like that, so I can't use it at the moment. Axes counted as blunt, that's interesting. I forgot Oblivion did that. Wait, I don't want my glass sword, I want my Stockens blade, even though it's worse than the glass sword. Glass sword is better, well it does have fire damage to be fair. I never realized the amount of charges it has, is it infinite? 499? Just big old pads going down. Hello, you're waiting for me. Hello Imperial Guard. Down you go. He has scam skin on him. They're technically scams. Oh, there's just loot down here. Cool. I don't need too much more loot. I've like carried too much. I have too much stuff on me. That's worth a lot though. I'll take that. All right. Back we go. This video is probably going to be a long one. I'm going to try and finish this one in one video. We'll see how we do. I can search the axe man. He's like here somewhere. He just completely disappeared while he's around here. That path takes a long time to get down. All right. So just go through this way. Go through here. This is the way we have to go, right? There's like a bunch of dead axemen here. I think they just appear. Like they're going to appear eventually. I think that's what that's about. All right, is this the way I go? These paths take so long to get down. Please tell me I'm going the right way. Okay, man. Do I have the key? There we go, rusty door. All right, here we go. Going further into the abyss. Hello, Imperial Guard. It's just more portals. There's ways to go down here. I have loads of acrobatics, so this is no issue. Uh, of Apparently not. I missed the acrobatic skill a lot. I really liked it in Morrowind and Oblivion. Because it's fun to just jump around everywhere. Alright, oh I go down here. Alright, at the end part. <laughs> it's just big imperial city thicken bridges. Oh hello! Oh, that's intimidating. But I have a really good sword so I can just take you down super easily, so... There you go, he just flies up. Take your soul gems, I'm over on Cumber now, great. Actually, is my sword infinite? I want to check. Oh, it's not infinite. Okay, I thought like 499 would be the max that it says and it never goes down, but it's not infinite. All right. Still a very good sword though. Hello, giant spider. How are you doing? Now we're just in this big kind of thick desert area. It's a lot of red. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I hope you can just see the big platforms above you. It's like a Mario Sunshine feckin' platforming level. It looks just like it. Hello, you're following me. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, look at this fella just chilling. He is a proper dinosaur. Oh, the dragon meat weighs a ton. Yeah, why am I picking that up? Let's eat some dragon meat. Why not? I uh, did a bit of healing. Oh, we do have a map marker. I've been so accustomed to Morrowind that I actually haven't been following the map marker this entire time. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that fact. I honestly haven't looked at it once. All right, so we are going the right way because the map tells us. Look at this giant platform arena thing. It feels like a big Yu-Gi-Oh arena. I'm going to see Kaiba up there. All right, is this the way I go or... Oh, hello. Are you okay, bud? Are you all right? You having a good time? Can I hit your head? Yeah, buddy, you're just stuck there. All right, so I should be able to get over there somehow. It's hard to see in front of me because there's so much fog. I don't know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to go around here and hope it's the way I go. There's enemies here, so surely I'm going in the right direction, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to stick to the edge. I imagine jumping off would just kill you. Yeah, maybe this is the right way, hopefully. Is it even? I feel like I'm going so far away from where I'm supposed to be. Okay, now it's kind of looping around. Maybe I'm going the right way? Do I just go towards this castle, maybe? Hopefully. It's just so hard to see in front of you. Like, I'm not sure what the path is. They want me to go down. I want to get over there, but, like, there's still enemies here, so... I'm just gonna assume I'm going the right direction. Yeah, I think we're just going towards the castle now. There you go. Down you go. Wait. There's just weird barrier things. Maybe I just do go down here? Is there anything down here at all? The layout of this place is infuriating, I must say. Oh, what's here? Is this something? Oh, hello. Yeah, I think this is something. Can I just go down into whatever this place is? I'm gonna take this. 
There's nothing there. <laughs> nothing quest related anyway. Oh wait. Yeah, I just need to get up here, right? I just want to get up here if there's some way. Is there any platform or anything? I'm going to let you all follow me while I figure this out. Yeah, like I can get up from here maybe? This place is huge. There's so many enemies here. Okay, here's a staircase. I'm just going to book it up. Here we are. I think I'm going the right direction. How are you enemies? How are you doing? More potions of healing. I'll take them. Hello. Oh, do I defeat you? Oh, what's your name? You're important. You're the people in the letter. Is this it? Is this like the final battle? Nice sword. I have a nicer one though. It's like a cemetery kind of. It's like a curved sword from Hammerfell. Well, you're dead. May I take your key? The Daedric sword does do a lot of damage. I'm doing good damage anyway. It weighs too much. There's Soul Keeper. Oh, I got another blade key. I now hold the blade key. It's time to leave this place? Is that it? Have I done it? Can I just go back? Can we leave? Was that the final battle? Oh, is that it? Alright, where's this map marker telling me to go? I need to go up there. Okay, there's a staircase here. Oh, I, I see, I see, I see. That's cool. Oh, do I have to jump up every step? I do. Come on, Oblivion. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> he just keeps stopping on every one. Jump forward. There you go. Jump forward. There you are. Oblivion and platforming do not go together. They don't. They really don't. Jump up. Come on. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost. This is so annoying. I could like fly around, but I don't want to use console commands in this mod if I can help it. Even though I already have the difficulty on very easy, so it's not like I'm eliminating any challenge here. It's not like I'm going into this with like a huge challenge. All right, can I leave? Can I go? Can I go through the gate? I'm gonna assume I can leave. I found the second portal. How many portals are there? The Valis Mines. At last, I'm back in Tamriel. As I hold the key in my hands, they turn to dust and trickle through my fingers. I have a feeling this nightmare isn't over and that the King of Stockin is not truly dead. I think that's the end of chapter one. I think that's the end of it. Yeah, I think there's a chapter two. Look, was an interesting mod to check out. I think for Oblivion Horror mods, it was an interesting one. If I am going to go back to Oblivion Horror, what I might do is I might check out another Oblivion Horror mod. That was fun. It was an interesting one to check out, at least for Halloween. I do want to check out more horror mods on the channel, at least. I have one planned for Morrowind and I have another planned for Skyrim. These horror mods might stretch out into November, oh. but your luck will keep the spooky season going as long as we can. And anyway, ghouls, ghoulettes, cheers for sticking around for Gates to Asgard. That was a, a long old mod but we got through in the one session so yeah we did it it was fun i'm on hero's hill we're gonna end off the video now on hero's hill cheers for sticking around for oblivion horror i hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you on the next one cheers for watching